Hi guys, this is Srikanth Musande. In this video, we are going to learn about FTP and SMTP with their examples. First, we will see uh, FTP. That is file transfer protocol. First, we have to know what is FTP and their functioning. Okay, file transfer protocol is the simplest and most secure way to action files over the internet. Transferring files from a client computer to a server computer is called uploading and transferring from a server to a client is downloading. To access an FTP server, user must be able to connect to the internet and intranet via modem or local area network with an FTP client program. FTP doesn't not really, mo really move, it copies files from one computer to another. FTP is the file transfer protocol in the internet's TCP IP protocol suit application layer. Okay, for the simplicity, here the diagram that you can able to learn how FTP work. That is, your uh, this is your computer, this is your computer, and this is server. This uh, both are connected with uh, intranet. Then and then able, then and then you can able to uh, download and upload uh, files from this server. Okay. Uh, now we have to learn about uh, features of the FTP. Uh, FTP protocol is used for transferring one file at a time in either direction between the client machine and the one which initiated the connection that is calling machine and the server machine which provide the FTP server service that is the call machine. FTP protocol can also perform other actions such as creating and deleting directories only if they are empty, listing files, deleting and renaming files etc. Apart from this, the uh, two uh, two are the main features of the FTP. That is, FTP allows files uh, to have ownership and access restriction, and FTP hides the details of individual computer system. Okay, we can illustrate FTP example by packet tracer. Okay, here we need one router. That is 1941, and one switch. This twenty nine fifty twenty four two PCs PC zero PC one and one server. Then we have to connect this uh, PC to switch through wire automatic connection wire. Then server. then switch to router now we have to uh, go to server set ip address that is 192.168.1.2 default gateway that is 192.168.1.1 copy now we have to set IP address for PC1 that is 192.168.1.3 same default gateway now we have to set PC for PC0 that is IP address 192.168.1.4 default gateway that is same close this config to router IP address that is default IP address and port status switch on now go to server then select uh, services and go to FTP and then on switch on service that is FTP on now we have to set username that is free password 1234 we have to write mode read mode delete mode rename mode and this mode add it okay now we have to go now we have to go to PC1 
in text editor type a message hi guys how are you this is uh, through pc1 save it sm.txt okay go to command prompt of pc1 type ftp address of uh, server 192.168.1.2 enter username whatever we uh, save the username shri password 1234 okay login in now check directory these are directory now we have to add on server that is a file uh, the command is put sm dot txt okay this is uploaded copied uh, this gives a copied in 0 0.0 for five second now we have to check it by command that is tir okay here is file 20 number sm.txt exit now we have to go in pc0 for downloading open command prompt of pc0 in that write ip address of server 192.168.1.2 okay here also uh, give we have to give username that is shri password 1234 now we have to check the file is uh, exist or not a dir command okay here is file is sm.txt now we have to uh, get this file that is uh, download the file for this uh, the command is get uh, sm.txt okay transfer uh, complete and uh, transfer in uh, complete that is this file is copied in zero second now we can check it this is a uh, of this file is exist or not okay this is exist okay you can see uh, packet will transfer from server to pc pc0 or not okay successful from pc okay successful from router to pc okay first time this is coming fail then success okay okay now we will see simple my transfer photo okay what is first we have to see what is simple mail transfer protocol a simple mail transfer protocol is the standard email protocol on the internet and part of tcp ip protocol suite smtp defines the message format and the message transfer agent which stores and forwards the mail smtp was originally designed for only plain text but mime and other encoding methods enable executable programs and multimedia files to attach it to and transport with the email message smtp is relatively simple and a text based protocol where one or more recipient of messages are specified and then message te text is transferred smtp uses tcp port 25 now uh, for the basically uh, for concept building here a uh, basic architecture diagram okay uh, that is that is user data that is pc uh, first we need both of the address and then then and then we will send send the message uh, through smtp we can transfer uh, multimedia messages and email message by mail one by one that is a mail queue 
uh, this is sending this is sending message transfer agent uh, this uh, by using command and procedure of smtp it send message messages to receive uh, receiver agent here uh, receiver ma receiver transfer agent uh, here message will uh, reach at one by one that is mail queue and here receiver agent uh, will receive the message and uh, after receiving this message uh, receiver uh, send the send replies by commands uh, okay here whole process uh, will done uh, through tcp port 25 uh, okay now we have to see uh, some basic commands of smtp uh, smtp defines a small required command set with several optional commands included for convenience purposes the minimal set required for an smtp sending client are that is hello first uh, initially state identification is used mailing that is mail sender resource path rcpt this command is used for uh, one recipient forward path and data this is command for mail message t uh, text state and rst that is used for about transaction uh, reset or buffer and no, no operation and quiet that is a we know that quiet for exit messaging uh, okay now uh, we have to learn some uh, basic procedure of smtp there are three steps of smtp mail transactions uh, first the transaction is started with mail uh, command which gives the sender identification okay first we have to need mail command that is uh, that will give the sender identification if accepted receiver smtp returns 250 p 250 okay reply this is a command that is 250 k or 250 okay uh, through a receiver uh, any a, a series of one or more rcpt that is command is used for receiver information if uh, this uh, this command is accepted by receiver then receiver smtp returns 250 uh, okay reply that is a right reply and stores the forward path if the recipient is unknown receiver smtp returns uh, 550 uh, failure of reply that is uh, message uh, the receiver does not support this message and then uh, data command gives the mail data if accepted the, the receiver smtp returns a 354 intermediate reply and consider all succeeding lines to be the message the, uh, text and finally the find uh, end of mail data indicator confirm the transaction when end of t uh, text is received uh, and stored smtp receiver sends 250b okay okay reply now we illustrate the smtp procedure through uh, example and uh, this is this smtp example shows mail sent by smith at host alpha.arpa to jones greens and brown at host beta.arpa first a uh, sender uh, that is a uh, yes is sender and r is a receiver uh, sender use that is mail from that is mail uh, is a trans transaction is start with mail command use the sender identification mail is a uh, sender mail is the command use the sender identification it means sender uh, sender address that is smith at the rate alpha dot arpa and then uh, receiver uh, when receiver accepted it returns to okay okay then uh, then sender send rcpt uh, that is uh, rcpt is a uh, uh, one recipient forward path that is uh, when and uh, it gives a mailing address uh, and then uh, receiver uh, if uh, receiver accepted then it returns to 50 okay and after this uh, yes is rcpt uh, to give the sender address uh, this this rcpt uh, is used for command uh, for uh, sending the message and uh, if uh, receiver is not uh, accepted this will return up to uh, 550 no such user here that is uh, user is uh, receiver is not able to uh, accept this message after this uh, sender send uh, RC, through sender send message that is through rcpt uh, command and when uh, receiver accepted it uh, returns to 50 okay and then uh, yes uh, yes is yes is data the data uh, command gives the mail data 
mailing data if accepted the receiver smtp returns 354 uh, intermediate reply that is here 354 on uh, r is 354 start mail input end with crlf that is any uh, sender can send uh, any messages that is etc welcome okay then a receiver uh, then receiver uh, then receiver uh, replies to 50 pay okay in this way we can illustrate this smtp procedure okay thank you guys